on the uh, death ceiling vote that is coming up in, in coming weeks, if you were in Congress, would you vote against increasing the debt ceiling? Hells no. I would not vote to increase that debt ceiling. Otherwise, it just shows the American public we're not serious yet. We're still going to incur more debt. No. And we don't have to increase the debt ceiling here in the next few weeks. It, it turns my stomach to hear this assumption articulated that, well, we have to, despite the fact we're raking in the federal government, $6 billion a day, take that money and service our debt first and pay down some of that debt. Make sure that we're showing the international national financial markets and our lenders that we're serious about getting our debt and our deficit problems under control. So what would you say to the Republicans who do vote for it on the advice of experts uh, on Wall Street and around the country who believe that uh, not increasing it would, would really hurt the economy uh, and create a disaster? I would say before you think about seriously voting to increase a debt limit and incur more unsustainable, immoral, unethical debt that, that uh, is really going to um, ruin our country to continue down this path, prioritize, service the debt first, pay for the very essential services that are constitutionally mandated, let the states take care of a whole lot of these services and projects, and if a state wants to do something a little bit special, like some extra roads or extra uh, museums and monuments and cowboy poetry let that state figure out how they're gonna pay for it okay governor Palin where are you on a prospective presidential run haven't decided yet and while I'm making up my mind still Brett I'm gonna continue uh, getting that message out there that smaller smarter government is the only thing that's going to save this country's economy okay so since you haven't decided and since Fox is paying you to be an analyst uh, how about analyzing some of the other prospective candidates. Uh, Mitt Romney. I appreciate that Mitt Romney is one who seems to be ready to jump in there um, full-fledged as, as a candidate. I respect him and, and everybody else, and the more the merrier in a GOP primary. I do not want to hear these elites try to discourage uh, through a, a primary process that hasn't even started yet the idea that, no, there's only a few chosen ones who will be deemed appropriate to run for office. It's what a primary is for, debates, discussion, uh, competition. That's what breeds success, competition. Let the people decide. Elites, man, just, yeah, give your opinion, but don't discourage people from running for office. What do you make of Donald Trump? He's one I'll put in that category of appreciating uh, his willingness to jump in there. Call it like he sees it. Don't care what the media says about you. He, of course, is going to, as he continues down the road, uh, feel the sting of the scrutiny that uh, especially the lamestream media will just uh, have all over him, bless his heart. But, um, you know, he's going to throw out some good ideas, I'm sure, and some ideas that we'll want to debate. Michelle Bachman. She, too. You know, she's got her um, two and a half terms of service there in the House of Representatives that, that um, I can respect because she's had to go up against the, the elites, if you will, in the party and buck some tide. Uh, I look more for in a candidate oh, independence. I don't want to see them so beholden to a political party that they let this obsessive partisanship get in the way of doing what's right. I respect her independence. Okay, so the, the common theme is that you respect the, the people who are getting in or talking about getting into the race, and you want the process to work itself out. But when I talked to you last year about your prospective candidacy, you said you were going to see who got in the race or was talking about it, and if someone uh, you believe that you could support got in, you probably would not. But if you didn't see someone, you would get in. So we're getting to the point of, do you see somebody? We're not to that point yet, Brett. And remember that uh, this this race, these the, the the general election, of course, 19 months away still. I still do think that a, a lot of this is much too early. This the speculation, the positioning of of uh, potential candidates already is too early. That brings me to something even more important, though, and that's what the president of the United States is doing this, doing to us essentially. When you consider that that general election isn't uh, until 19 months from now.
now and he's already in campaign mode and he's already trying to raise a billion dollars he's, he's going to raise and spend in order to um, try to hold on to his seat well, that's and the uh, point, that Governor, around the country. That's the point. If the, if the president's out there raising money and he says he's going to raise a billion dollars and the Republicans have to come to the table with a lot of money, that's going to take time to raise that money. It doesn't just come out of the air, yeah. right? Nope. The point is our president should be buckling down and trying to find solutions to the challenges facing this country. It doesn't matter how much you raise. You know, I do not want to believe the, that the American political process is going to come down to who has the most money. If that's the case, count me out. You know, count out anybody who's come from middle class, not uh, not having those those strings tied to big maybe uh, corporate entities and the lobbying firms and all that influence and and in Obama's case last go around potentially some foreign money or monies that we never did see being accounted for uh, somebody like me it, it, I, I would never be able to compete in an environment like that if truly the American people were going to concede that that's all about it, it's about is money I'm not going to believe that before I let you go are you suggesting that the FEC may find that foreign money got into the Obama campaign in 2008 Am I wrong to um, bring up the fact, and maybe, Brett, at this point, you have more information than I do on where a lot of those dollars were that were unaccounted for. Remember, we saw much proof of a lot of the contributions to Obama's campaign, um, credit card contributions under fake names and um, addresses that um, perhaps weren't uh, even real addresses in the U.S. Uh, you know, I certainly hope that we won't just give up on making sure that we have free and fair elections, not just Obama's. Heck, some on the GOP too, on the GOP side. Let's make sure that uh, rules are being followed. We are a land of laws. Governor Palin, as always, thank you very much. And if you do have an announcement, please let us know. Thank you so much.